How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining. Welcome back. Today we are going to do a haul. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what I picked up, keep on watching. So I picked up a few things here and there. I think mostly some is Sephora and some is QVC, maybe Walmart. I don't know. I was trying to look through my stuff here and see. Uh, it's a little bit of a mixture, but I think most of it's Sephora. Oh, and ColourPop. Some products you'll probably already have seen me share in a couple of videos. I don't know how the videos will be going up, so I don't know if it's before this or if it's after this. If it's before, I'll put links down below in case you guys are interested. I'll go into that Walmart. This product here is from Equate. It's the Moisture Care Coca Divine Body Oil Gel. It helps give the skin a healthy glowing appearance with replenishing moisturizers. And I know several I have seen, uh, they use the Vaseline one, but of course this is compared to Vaseline anyway. And they really liked it. They felt that it gave a nice glow, like a healthy glow to their skin and I thought with me getting my dry skin like I do this would work really great and I can put it in on my arms and just you know kind of just look a little more healthy glow so it does yeah it smells it's so crazy but it smells like butterscotch to me it's crazy it just seriously smells like butterscotch so I thought I'd give this a try then I seen um somebody review the Infallibles uh, Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now it's crazy because I really don't always like matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. However, I'm kind of liking them. I'm enjoying them. I, I don't actually always leave them straight up matte because the lip product I have on now is actually a liquid uh, matte lipstick. And I did put a little bit of gloss or something on top, just very little. So I guess I don't still stick straight into like a full on matte lip. This here is in the shade 364 Milk and Cookies. 364. It's a pretty dark color. I'm not going to lie. It's like a brown, like a dark brown color. And I figured I'd give it a try. Why not? So that's milk and cookies. Like I said, I know it's a dark color, but I figured I'd step out, try it. I wanted to see what this liquid lipstick is like. And then I have another palette from Maybelline in the City Minis, the City Minis palettes. I have another one. It's in the bronze, like rooftop bronze or something. I like these. These remind me of the Maybellines that you can get in the trays that was, was it a four tray or five tray? Like they were the smaller ones you could get. Copper Chick. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. I know Copper Chick's one that comes to my mind right now. Um, Coral Oasis or something. I'm not sure. These remind me of the same quality of those and I liked those much better than the other palettes that we're seeing from Maybelline, like the bigger uh, pans, like the nudes and whatever. But this one here is actually from a YouTuber, which I'm noticing that a lot lately with Maybelline and CoverGirl. Maybelline's really been going towards a lot of the YouTubers, I noticed. Ones that are, you know, like well-known, I guess. Some of them I don't know. This young lady here I have heard of her name is, is it Shayla? Yeah, Shayla. She's actually on the back here a little bit, like a little eye look. And there's some really pretty colors in here. They're like purples and golds. So I thought I would give this a try since I liked the bronze one so well and the way they worked. QVC, Nick Chavez, I've talked to you guys about his products and I've really liked uh, some of his products that I've tried so far. And one of my favorite products is Advanced Volumizing uh, Hair Care. Well, they had a special, and oh my goodness, I just brought the shampoo. I didn't bring both. I figured I'd just bring the one, but I do have the shampoo and the conditioner and a hairspray on top of it. I'll show you the hairspray. 
in a minute, but the advanced volume, <laughs> look how big this thing is. It's a 32 ounce bottle. So I got the shampoo and conditioner. So you got the those two plus, and I've tried this hairspray. This is a, well, it's a big can. As you can see, really big can, 10 ounce. And this is NYX um, Thirst Quencher Quencher Hydrating Hairspray with Argan Oil in it. And I really like this. Uh, I had his angel wings and liked it. So far, his hairsprays, it's like they're not sticky. You know, that's why I always stayed clear from hairsprays. I didn't like the sticky, knotted feeling. Not with this so far. Both of his is angel wings and then this one here. And it smells good too. So this came with the shampoo and conditioner, the 32 ounce. And I think in total it was like $70. And I, but these are on easy pay. And $70 wasn't too much because by the time you did the six easy pays or something like that. So I went for it and jumped for it because it I did know, I already knew I liked the shampoo and conditioner. And I thought it would be a great way to try the hairspray out. So the other thing I got from Nick Chavez, and I knew I wanted to get this because I hear so many people in the QVC community and in some of the beauty community is his Velvet Mesquite Serum for hair and skin. So you can use this product for your hair and for your skin. I don't know if you can do your his, your face or not. I don't know if I see it listed on here. I would have to look. I'm not sure. I know like on dry patches, like he was saying your elbows or certain places that you had dry, certain places you had dryness on your body. I don't know if I've heard face. So those are my QVC buys. I think that's the only things that I got from QVC. Let's go into ColourPop. So ColourPop, there was a palette I've been wanting forever. And it was like every time I would go on the site, it was sold out. And I haven't tried any of their pressed eyeshadows. And that's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get one of their pressed eyeshadow palettes. And it is the Yes Please ColourPop palette. That is actually what I have on my eyes right now. And oh my goodness, the pigment. It Well, as you can see from my eye look, even it is gorgeous it is just as i think i like the pressed much better than the ones in them little pots the ones in the little pots are nice but i just i think i appreciate the pressed more that's just you know that's just me and it's 16 dollars. not a bad price at all now they don't have a mirror or anything so you will need a mirror to use but still again for $16 mind you. Now this shade here did kick up a good bit for me but as I always say that's not really a deal breaker for me as long as the eyeshadows like blend nice and I don't have any problems. Also the shadows in these are much more smaller. Um, the other pressed pigment ones like if you're used to makeup geek or anything like that, that's kind of the size if you get a single of, the, of their pressed pigments, but these are much more smaller. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And the one thing that I mainly kept hearing was people were duping it for the Natasha Denona um, Sunset Palette because the colors are similar to it. And I can see why, because the colors are very similar. They look very similar here like that palette. I can't testify that they are actual actual dupes. There is videos I've seen where they're swatching it and you do see a lot of similarities and they're very close. Some have a little more uh, a little more different color to the other but it's not to the extreme like where it's you know, like real noticeable, like most people might not notice it. You get like eight matte, eight matte shadows in here. And I see one, two, three, four. I think they're like metallic or shimmer shades. And I just, I really, really like this palette. I'm so glad I got it. But every time I went on the site, it was like sold out. If I'm reading it correctly, it's supposed to be note to self, but that's note to self, but can you see it did kick up? So that's something to be aware. It's a little bit more of a shimmer shade. I, had, I put this shade all over, 
like halfway on my lid here. This one's a good one. There's that. I think this one's called Full Zip. That's what I'm guessing. If it's not Full Zip, then it's Bling. I'm not sure which way in which direction they go. That one goes on really nice. So that's a couple of the shades you can see from it. But so you can't afford the Natasha Nona or you don't want to spend the money on them because they are pricey. I feel you. I caved and, and bought the one of the holiday ones that I shared with you guys on my live feed the other day. So I then, because I want to spend $30, it's like $30 for free shipping. And there was some other colors that I seen in their press pigments. And they're $5 a piece. And so I put them in their little, which, boy are they magnetic, so I just put them all together like this in their little eyeshadow containers. They give you free, you get this free, a little place to put your eyeshadow. So this first one that is actually called Magic Bowl. Yeah, Magic Bowl. I thought it, I thought it said Magic Ball at first, and then I was like, oh, Magic Bowl. That's this one here, and it has that blue burgundy shift to it. It is really pretty right there. Blue burgundy. It almost reminds me of the color that I wanted from the MAC collection. It was called uh, Boom Boom Room or something. And it was a limited edition one. And I wanted that one so bad. So it almost reminds me of that. But someone said it almost looks like the same color that's in the Dusk palette from Huda. I don't know. So the next one I got in the ColourPop is, it's called Come and Get It. And I think, go for these, as you know, peach gold shades. So funny enough, that almost looks like the Natasha Denona shade. And I said, I bet you there's dupes that I put on my eyelids on my live feed. It's right there. I don't know if it's as intense but that's come and get it press pigment and then the last one I got was called tea garden and oh my goodness you know me and my greens and this I'm not sure it's a it's a, one of them duochrome shade like they shift and it's tea garden oh this is beautiful too right there it's green and gold and red there's like a red even in there that flares in now we'll see how well it works but right there it is and it you know shifts around different colors i don't know i just i liked them and those were the ones that caught my eye for the time being let's go into sephora because i'm pretty sure that's where most of this stuff now sephora you guys probably already see me do because i was doing a like first impressions or trying out video and I was doing a look with the Chloe Morello's I don't know if you pronounce it Katia or Satya but whichever way this is the palette it's there's a palette there's um, mascara a lippy and an eyeliner and oh my goodness the colors in this palette are just gorgeous they are really gorgeous I mean you have to, you have to see it in person so I think this is a well worth, and it's $49 for everything. I think it's a well worth set to look into. So here's the mascara, and in, in that video, if you, oh no, my live video, that's right. On my live video, I used this here, the mascara that came with it, and it's called uh, Wonder Wand. The lip, liquid lipstick came with it. Oh gosh. Like, you know, afterwards, like when I first put it on, it looked fine. But then as time progressed and it did dry up, this is the first lip liquid lipstick. Now, I don't know if it's the color or all of their liquid lipsticks, but I, I would hesitate to even get any from them. Um, it settled in like it showed every little line in my lip. It made me, made me look like an older person than what I was. So I did not really care for this. And the other thing that came with it is... This um, eyeliner is called Fierce Flicks. I really like this eyeliner. This I probably would purchase. It has a really nice tip on the end. I'm really liking this. I've never tried Kat Von D's. And I know a lot of people like her, 
her eyeliner. So I would probably like to give hers a try and see if it's better than this. The same because this is a really good eyeliner. It's black as black and that's what I have on my eyes. It's very easy to glide. Everything. Love this liner. And then if you also, speaking of my live feed, I showed you the Natasha Denona uh, holiday palette. I got Joya and I am probably going to get the other one, I think. And Joya's the one with the berries and the golds and just, oh, $48 for this. That is pricey, but it is so worth it for me. And let's see. Okay, this is called, this one's called Peach Gold. Now, let's see about Come and Get It. Come and Get It, and then there's the Peach Gold. They don't really look the same on camera. They don't really look the same in person, but I'm going to swatch them. So I'm going to swatch Come and Get It first. Like there, that's, there's its swatch. Oh yeah, no, there's no denying hers is more intense. It's almost in the same reference. So ColourPop. And then Natasha Denona. Hey, you know what though? When you put them on like that, they look exactly alike, don't they? They look exactly alike. Holy crap. That is a dupe. So come and get it from ColourPop. If you like that peach shade and Natasha Denona, there you go. Come and get it. Holy crap, I cannot believe that. Told you I like the peach golds anyway, so. Okay, and then the other palette that I bought, which I told you guys I was bad, is the Kat Von D uh, Saint and Sinner palette. And you guys probably have seen it numerous times on here. I've done a couple looks already. I, you know, there's the colors all there. And it is a really pretty palette. I like, I like it for the different colors in it, like some unique different colors. In my, like where you get like free stuff, points, whatever, this and that kind of a thing. I didn't try it yet because I have been using um, skincare brand that sent me some products. Um, so I, I haven't used this yet. And this is for the under eye. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye eye cream. So I got a little deluxe sample of it. It's it from it. And okay, the color on my lips. Now I did top it. I love using this, as you guys know, I've showed it many times before, this rose gold from Milani. It's like a rose gold color topper from their Brilliant Shine lip glosses that I, like I said, I don't think they sell these anymore, which is such a bummer. But this, I top it with so many different things and I did put it on top of this lip color. However, I really like this lip color. It's a deluxe sample I got from Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I really like this. I liked how it went on. I liked how the finish looked. It didn't go in all the lines or anything like that. And sadly though, they only go by numbers. So if you like this, when I swatch it, it's number 105. And it's just a really nice, just neutral, you know, shade. There it is right there. It is close to the one that I just swatched not long ago, but it's a little more lighter. I like that one better. I mean, the infallible one's nice, but I kind of like this better. Oh, this one from the Atier. Oh, this is in Sydney. This is what it looks like. I'll let you guys see this one. It's a pretty color. I like Sydney. There it is. It's pretty. No question it's pretty, but I don't like how it looked on my lippies. And lastly, my deluxe sample is so cute. Is It's called Prada Candy, Prada Candy Gloss. I guess it's their new perfume. And I do like the Prada Candy Floral. I have it in a roller ball. I probably would actually get the full size of that one. I, but this one's called Gloss. Look how cute. Look how adorbs. Adorbs. That's cute. Let me 
You have to pop it off. I wish it was a spray though. Hmm. Let me pop that on here. Oh my. Mmm, that is different. It smells nice. I don't know if it smells as good as my other one. I'm not sure what the notes are in here. It doesn't smell bad. I don't know if it's one of my favorites from them. Too bad that wasn't the floral one. I'd have been more happy with it probably. Thanks guys for tuning in. I really appreciate that. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, as well as the bell that's next to it. That will notify you of my videos uh, when they're uploaded, ready to watch. And as always, beauties, please, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the world beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. Love you guys. Bye.